kids i've got my two girls the first one is light the second one is dark she like she's very dark and people they always comment like this one why is it dark i remember when i went to see him, my uncle was like oh this one <laughs> he said <laughs> like she's very black almost black black like when you say cha like she's three times black she's very black how can you have such a black child and she's so pretty she's dark and lovely so i always tell her even my sisters like no this one is dark like daddy like this darkness becomes becomes a topic like why is she dark why is she dark how so we're supposed to be dark we have to be dark we have to be light we have to be white we have to be blue whatever color you are whatever to pink guys hi ladies welcome welcome to this episode so today i'm not just gonna be talking to you about skin bleaching i know that as women of color sometimes we feel like we are we are too dark but this video is dedicated to a friend of mine Woo, that friend of mine this video is for you girl i'm not gonna mention your name but that friend of mine always tell me that in the whole family we are the only ones who are dark the whole family were the only ones who are dark it it really gets to her why is he dark when the whole family everyone is light so i actually feel like this video is for people like that this is not if you're if you're light in complexion you will not understand the struggle the struggle is real this is an emotional topic you guys this is emotional for people who are dark because they feel like why am i the only one who's dark in the family why everyone is light why so the thing is like when you're growing up we're brainwashed i don't know if you're brainwashed but we, all, we, all, we always think that people with long hair people who are light in complexion like the white people are the most beautiful so the the, the lighter you are the closer you're getting to this white race i'm not a racist i'm just saying but so in the end you feel pressurized like that you can consider skin bleaching so there are so many things that you can use to bleach your skin that's bio clay yes bio clay there's extra clay there's uh, more vet there's uh, there's so many things i can't i can't i can't i can't remember all of them but in the end so if you if you ladies have you ever seen i've been to zambia your people in zambia they bleach in Zambia, everyone is bleaching. In DRC, the men. <laughs> DRC, the men. Ah, you guys, I had a friend of mine. Eh? Her husband was very light. Then this other day, I noticed that he's, he has always been wearing long things. Then it was like, oh, these hands were so dark. I've seen in Zambia, most ladies, they've got skins like that. They look like that. And in the end, you end up developing green stuff like your bed. The, yeah yeah in our mother's days there was something called abi yes okay so my silence is back so you guys can't hear me properly so this happens uh i also used to bleach my skin the reason why i don't know i'm light in complexion i'm not very light but i'm light and there was a time when i used to bleach my skin up until one day i walked into a field of maize then there was a cob, you know, a maze, like a leaf. The leaf, I just passed by the leaf. I just passed by the leaf. Then tomorrow morning, that's when I realized that I had injured myself. Just by passing by the leaf, the leaf had to scratched me. So my skin had become so much very sensitive. So much very sensitive. Some people, I, I remember my somebody saying, I don't know if this is true, but this is from a layman's point of view. They say your skin becomes so thin so that if you're involved in an accident, stitching it, we don't know. You guys, why do you bleach your skin? Why? Tell me why. You're so beautiful as dark as you are. You are beautiful. You are dark and lovely. You must not let this thing get to you. So today, I'm just going to tell you the disadvantages of, of bleaching your skin. Okay, so as we all know, our skin has got melanin. We have melanin. So this dark pigment is melanin. So when you are bleaching your skin, you are taking, you are getting rid of the melanin cells. I'm sure you guys have seen that there's this disease where people are running out of melanin and uh, I can, you can see our celebrities over there. The melanin is finishing. Some people are really struggling and some people, they're like please can i have melanin and you guys what are you doing we are taking we are ripping off the melanin cells by bleaching it's not okay okay so i'm just gonna i did my research so 
there's this thing called ex exogenous ochronosis. It's a skin disorder that causes that causes blue black pigmentation. I'm sure you've seen those people with blue black marks. Those ones are permanent marks. Like the it's like you are bent and the the mark will not go away. It's 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 usually it usually occurs as a complication of long term use of bleaching creams that contain hydroquinone. And I know I know that our extra clay has hydroquinone. People who use it on large areas of the body or the entire body are most likely to develop exogenous ochronosis. You guys, this is serious. I'm serious. I'm sure you've seen your aunts, they are black here. We are also going to be like that. Okay, the next is a uh, skin beats. Okay, skin bleaching creams that contain corticosteroids can cause steroid acne. Uh, like your bio, no, it's not bio clay. The, those ones that come in tubes, the blue tubes. Steroid acne mostly affects the chest, but can also show up on the back arm and other part of the body with long term use of corticosteroids. Symptoms will include white heads and black heads, red, small red bumps, large painful red lumps, acne scars. Skin lightening creams contain that contains mercury have been associated with nephrotic syndrome. Symptoms can be swelling around the, eye, the eyes. It's called oedema. Swollen feet and ankles. Foamy urine. When you're peeing, your urine is like it's got washing powder. Loss of appetite and fatigue. You guys, this is this is serious. African child, I'm talking to you. This is serious. We'll be like, ah. You guys, it even affects your kidneys. Like it's poisoning that you are putting into your body. When you're putting mercury, when you're putting hydroquinine, when you're putting steroids in your body, it's not right. We need to stop it. We need to accept who we are. We are dark. We're created like this. And we are very beautiful. Don't ever let this thing get to you that everyone in the family is light. So I have to be light too. Don't let the society get to you. Let's stop bleaching, guys. And have you ever seen those people bleach? You guys, when you're bleaching, don't forget to bleach even your hands. You like bleaching your face, then you forget your hands. So in the ends, your hands are black. Some, they even try, but there's one thing that they forget, the knuckles. You can never bleach your knuckles. So in the end, you, we can see that you are camouflage, you are frog. Let's stop it, guys. Let's stop skin bleaching. It's not good. I'm sure as you, go, as you grow older, that's when you realize that this is wrong. Because in the end, you're going to have... We are aging, we've got wrinkles, and we have those black things on your face. Proof that you hate yourself. We're taught to self hate. We hate the color of our complexion, and it's not right. I don't know how we can do this, but let's teach our kids. I've got my two, two girls. The first one is light, the second one is dark. She, like, she's very dark. And people, they always comment, like, This one, why is it dark? I remember when I went to see him, my uncle was like, Oh, this one. <laughs> He said, Akash <laughs> Magudicha. Like, she's very black. Ubusu, black, black. Like, when you say cha, like, she's three times black. She's very black. How can you have such a black child? And she's so pretty. She's dark and lovely. So, I always tell her, even my sister's like, no, this one is dark like daddy. Like, this darkness becomes becomes a topic like why is she dark why is she dark how so who is supposed to be dark we have to be dark we have to be light we have to be white we have to be blue whatever color you are whatever to pink so guys this this really gets to my it really gets to me black child stop bleaching your skin take care of your skin get skincare products you have a clear skin and you, do you know that people who are dark in complexion they've got a beautiful skin they don't have acne most times in most times they don't have acne they don't have blemishes they are perfect. Just take your take care of skin. You have a toner, your face wash, and a moisturizer. Apply that, and you have a beautiful skin. I've seen black people, like dark people, who are very proud of who they are. Like Nikki thought, Nikki is so beautiful. She is beautiful, and she's black. And that's the reason why white men, like real white men, loves real black women. They are not gonna. They don't marry our type here. Eh? They marry the like the very black ones. Because that's black. You guys, you are beautiful. Love you who you are. Black child. Love who you are. Don't 
bleach your skin thank you guys thank you guys thank you for watching it's been a long day i've been filming filming and i'm tired bye bye